With over 100 devices released in 2022, I suppose we expected nothing less from the last month of the year. Here is everything that came out in December 2022. The Hanvon N10 Mini. The N10 Mini features a lot of what made the N10 so popular, in both the small form factor and price point. This was 7.8 instead of 10.3, and came with the exact same pen as its older brother. It lacks a touchscreen, but has 9 physical buttons on the side that you can key map to do various things. It has a built-in leather stylus loop and an aluminum plaque on the back, giving it a completely unique appearance. It's thin, portable, and has a fast responsive screen. The N10 Mini came out at the right time. The Lamy Twin Safari. This is the first time we've seen this in a retail setting. The Lamy Twin Safari features the world's first EMR, Wacom enabled tip, and standard ballpoint in the same pen. Bic tried to do this many years ago, but public reception was poor at trade shows because everyone was scratching the screen with the ballpoint and mistakenly writing on paper with the Wacom tip. Not that the inherent nature has changed with Lamy, but I suppose it takes a company like Lamy, one of the biggest pen manufacturers in the world, to finally muster up the courage to release this to the public. The iReader Smart Air Easily one of the best 7.8 inches on the market right now, the iReader Smart Air is here, and iReader is fully in English now. This features note-taking capabilities never before seen like blackboard mode, shaping, highlighting, and even 129 templates. The device is fast, simple, and lightweight in both the construction and the operating system. iReader has become essentially a full-line manufacturer overnight with their recent OTA over-the-air updates of English, and no better starting point than the iReader Smart Air. Heart of Metal Gen 2 Supernote hasn't released anything in over a year, but we're happy they did. This is the Heart of Metal second generation. After removing all the original Heart of Metal from their website, they released the second gen made out of not steel or aluminum, but brass. The design is absolutely gorgeous, it feels great in the hand, and it comes in numerous colors and patterns. The only downside, and it's a big one, you can't actually use it on other devices except the Supernote because the ceramic tips will scratch nearly any surface in the industry. All in all, a very good release, but it would have been nice if you were able to choose the tip at time of checkout. The Lenovo Yoga Paper. Coming in at the last possible minute, Lenovo joins the fray with an absolutely stunning e-note. Beautifully constructed, their own pen built from the ground up, a paper-like surface, and of course, the name backing it, which consumers care about a great deal. Lenovo has made electronics for quite some time, and has slowly been trying to enter the e-reader market, with a tablet collaboration with Barnes & Noble, and a dual-screen yoga book made earlier on this year. We have high hopes for this unit, and although it's lacking onboard audio, we feel that the pros still outweigh the cons. A lot has happened in 2022. The e-reader industry is healthier, robust, and climbing at an exponentially accelerated pace. The word stagnant or decline is not a word you hear in the e-reader industry. More to come in 2023. We both very much thank you all and hope for your support moving forward. For GoodyReader.com, this is Peter. Thank you.